Hi, this is Harley Riddle, Papa Bear, Cut Man, uh, here with Rudy. We're gonna go over something new. Um, this is the bare knuckle boxing wrap. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bare knuckle boxings, they don't wrap their hands. Actually, they do. And I'm gonna show you how they do it. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with standard wrap and standard tape. Now, normally we would make a knuckle pad for boxing or MMA, Muay Thai, kickboxing but bare knuckle is literally that bare knuckle so we'll only need the tape and the gauze so what you want to do is check your fighter make sure his hands are in good shape how's your hands feel feel good feel good all right you want to rub them down a little bit make sure the muscles are nice and loose okay now you won't need nearly as much gauze with this type of a wrap make a fist open all right now when i did that i had to make a fist I put one wrap around, overlaid it, had them open it, and that creates a little bit of tension so you don't have to put any tape on the skin. Pull it forward a little. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap down the wrist and then back up. Now remember, this is bare knuckle boxing. It's nothing to do with grappling. So for that, you have no need to worry about open palms and things like that. Once you wrap the wrist, then you take it around the thumb one time Go back to the wrist, go back to the thumb once again, wrap it again, come around and to the thumb once more, back down, reinforcing the wrist, back to the thumb, once more at the high wrist where the hand and the wrist meet, working your way back. This is how much is left over from doing one hand. Now from here, we'll take our tape, make a fist. No need to try to form it because there's not enough on there to actually reform. Going around, nice and snug, but not tight because when he opens his hand, it will be tighter. Open, there we go, is that too tight? Nope. Going around, coming back to the thumb, going around the thumb, and we're gonna come to the high part of the hand where the hand and wrist meet, wrapping around that joint right here. Once again, around the thumb, taking it carefully back around and tear it off. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna make sure Everything that we want covered is covered. I'm gonna bring down the top of the gauze. This is also to keep the, the gauze from coming loose during the fight and to keep the tape off of the skin. Going around it one more time. And then I'm gonna reverse directions one last time. Going back around the thumb one more time. And going down the hand, ending at the back of the wrist. As you see, the hand Top of the knuckles are completely exposed. Make a fist. This is the original classic bare knuckle wrap. Wrist support to the high wrist, base of the hand, and thumb. There are two other styles of hand wrap, a more advanced hand wrap, and then a prototype hand wrap that uh, I'll be discussing here in a moment. Uh, but I wanted you to see what the classic looks like. Open. How's it feel so far? Feels good. Feel okay, no, no strangulation or anything nope. like that? Okay, so like I said, this is the classic wrap. Um, if you wanna go bare knuckle, this is one of the wraps you can use. Uh, I'm gonna show you a different one, but I'm gonna show you how to cut this one off right now first. All right, we're gonna 
squeeze a little bit, relax the hand, run it up, nice and slow. And with the thumb, you can either pull it off or loosen it and then snip. One and done, just like that. Now, the advanced, uh, the, the advanced bare knuckle wrap is just a little different. Make a fist, open. Same basic premise as the first. So we'll just advance to that point. Open nice and wide. All right, let me go around the thumb and we go up and go between the meat and the first finger right here. And as you see, we're going away from the thumb, between the thumb and first finger, around the wrist, back around the thumb. We do this three times. And we finish the gauze side of this back to the back of the wrist again. As you see, used a little bit more. Now for the taping side of this, what we want to do is take this first part, put your fingers together, roll this back just a little bit. Open. There we go. As you see now, it's up higher on the wrist, excuse me, on the hand than it was on the original wrap. Make a fist. Begin a wrap on the back, wrapping away from the thumb. Open. And come up, we wrap the thumb, we come up, and as we wrap under, we want to turn it over to look. And as we're bringing it in, we're going to take part of the tape and tuck it under the front like this right here. Turn it over. Keeping the tape off of the skin, across the gauze, here. Turn it over. We're gonna go on the back side. As we pinch it together, you see we're creating a grip bar right here. This is gonna create more power in the punch. Make a fist. Open, there you go. Now, we're gonna bring this under the wrist this time, right here at the base of the hand. Nice and slow. Okay, make a fist. There we go. Open, one more time on the thumb. And back down. We'll take the skirt, fold it down. This is to avoid the gauze come flying out during the fights and it keeps the tape off of the skin. Make a fist. Open. And what you want to do is look in here, see if they want to get this cut down any. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It depends on the meat of the hand. How's that feel? That's good. Make a fist. Now, as you see, knuckles are completely exposed. Absolutely nothing on the knuckles, but the bones are more protected up here because this tape is brought across to anchor them down. When bones move is when they break and you have the, uh, the effect of a punch, boom. The force goes back down. If the bones move sideways, they'll fracture. If they move up, they'll pop out, and you have what's called a boxer's break on the side or in the middle. Um, the support of the wrist will keep it from spraining. The support on the thumb will keep it from getting jammed or poked um, open. The support on the wrist without strangulation, and this knuckle bar makes it easier 
for a fighter to grab a hold, make a fist, gives them something to squeeze, long, stronger fist. And that is a bare knuckle wrap. See you next time.